Today we are at the extreme south of uh, Maremma, always in Tuscany, close to Capalbio, at the estate of uh, Montauto with uh, the producer Riccardo Vetri. And we came to taste and uh, to uh, have a better knowledge about the wines produced here in this uh, winery. And we are talking with the producer just a little bit about uh, your story, Riccardo. My story is a uh, quite young story because we started to produce wine 20 years ago but uh, we have this uh, farm from 60 years because my grandfather planted the first vineyard 60 years ago and uh, after my economic study I decided to change my life and uh, to start this new project and uh, when, uh, when I arrived here uh, with our actually winemaker, uh, Fabrizio Molta, uh, we worked in, in the vineyard during the first harvest time and we feel a uh, uh, smell of Sauvignon Blanc because my grandfather planted this vineyard more than 40 years ago. So we understood that it's the right place for, uh, to grow uh, white wine mainly. So we produce red in uh, indigenous grapes like uh, Chile Giolo and international grapes like Pinot Noir and uh, white wine, uh, Vermentino and uh, Sauvignon Blanc. And um, because here we have a very unique uh, terroir for to be in Tuscany. We, have, we are close to the seaside, we are 10 kilometers in line uh, from the seaside and we are in hill, so 200 meters uh, to the sea level and then we have uh, the breeze from the sea so it's very important for to, to have a very unique and small terroir with uh, soil, with a lot of uh, clay, with a lot of uh, iron and a lot of quartz in the, in the so we are talking about a specific and uh, a special microclimate for this area. Yes, correct. Exactly. That favorites the growth of uh, Sauvignon Blanc. You know, it's not so usual in Tuscany to see growers that they are making Sauvignon Blanc in, in Italy in general. Yes, it's uh, I make uh, a terroir choice. So what is better for here, what we plant. Uh, and we plant it and we grow. And uh, so it's a very microclimate, very unique microclimate where well, between the land, between the, the breeze from the sea, between the hill uh, exposure. So it's, and, and, and with also a good different temperature between night and day. That is very important for the smell. Yeah. We ever had um, an organic management of the vineyard. So we use just copper and sulfur, and all the harvest is manual harvest. Wonderful. Hey, talk us a little bit about your production. What kind of wines you are producing? You you talk about the Chile Giallo, Pinot Noir. Yes. And in red, Pinot. we have uh, Chile Giallo that it's indigenous grapes. The Chile Giallo is the father of Sangiovese. It's the same family of the Sangiovese, but it's, it's older than Sangiovese. And we, we chose to, to, to focus in this production because, uh, from my opinion, Chile Giolo is very interesting grape because it's, it's fruity, but fresh, clean, crisp, uh, so it's very easy to drink wine. Yeah. What is the potential aging of your wines? How would you think that? How long can you keep these wines in your cellar? The problem for our wine is, is uh, uh, it's not a problem for aging because uh, uh, between the, the, this unique terroir and uh, our approach in cellars, where we want we, we respect the grapes, so we want to bring the grapes inside of the glass. So we make a very simple vinification. Uh, and also for the, the clarification of the wine we use cool. So 
to touch less as possible in grapes. Mm -hmm. no? So natural fermentation, and after less you touch the wine, more is the longer of the life of the wine. So in general, especially the white one, especially the Sauvignon Blanc, we have very great evolution during the years. So it's, uh, the wine became more complex, more, uh, more great. Yeah. Which was the first vintage of your wines? The first vintage was 2002. 2002. My yeah. grandfather production uh, has had very small production, but uh, my production started in 2002. Uh, talk us a little bit about the vines, the plants. I know that you have the Sauvignon plants that they are really old vines. It's old vines. Which is the age of that vineyard? More or less 40 years. 40 years. 40 years. And uh, about the old vine, we leave the, uh, the plant height in 1 meter 80 because uh, uh, we leave the grapes totally covered under the leaves. That's a very, it's very important, especially during summertime when yeah. there is a lot of sun, yes. because the breeze keeps cool the grapes. So of course, they have to be fresh. Be fresh, keep yes, fresh. yes. And uh, <coughs> so the age is between uh, seven and four years old. For, for your experience, the Sauvignon uh, grapes are more sensible at the health issues like Peronospora, or Iodio, Oidio, or...? Um, for our experience, no. There is a more indigenous grapes are a little bit uh, sensible to uh -huh. this kind of... Uh, Sauvignon Blanc, uh, yes, it's difficult grapes to work in the cellar, like Pinot Noir, okay. but to grow is uh, regular grapes to work with. Excellent. Uh, talk us a little bit about the journalists. How are they um, thinking or they facing your wines? Which are the awards in uh, the wine magazines that you are proud? Yeah, we have some awards. Uh, we approach very late to the to the journalists so we are quite young in this side because till now we are focused in the in our customer uh, rating you know, you see? Yes, and actually we we won the gold medal in international uh, Sauvignon championship and uh, we have 92 points uh, uh, for chile giolo uh, from uh, Venus, from uh, James Sackling, and, uh, and and some silver medal in uh, to the characters. We have, but uh, you know, as I explained, uh, as we talked before, our wine, our style wine is it's the wine very easy to drink uh, with a good mineral give from the soil. So it's. Uh, uh, the wine that uh, one glass has another glass. <laughs> okay, we'll so taste that in the wine after. Um, and to, we'll, we will see what you're saying. I know that uh, in Italy, I'm sure you have a big success because to find a producer in Tuscany that produces this kind of wines, it's really rare. But what about your international market? Are you exporting your wines where? We have some customers in Australia, we have some customers in New Zealand, uh, some in the United States, of course, England, Norway, and uh, some small customers in, in French and, um, and uh, uh, Switzerland, and in, in, in German, yes. Excellent. Yeah. In Spain, sorry. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, I think that it is more than enough. Let's pass to the tasting, but if you want to add something to the conclusion of uh, the interview, please. That's definitely artisan wine. I mean, uh, the hand of man, of my, uh, the people who work with, uh, with us, it's very important for to produce this wine, because all the harvest is manual harvest. So we, 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 we follow every step of production, 
very professional and very with passion. And um, the stabilization of wine, as I told you before, is uh, but cool. So it's long, but it's natural uh, process. So all the process is uh, focusing to produce good wine as natural as possible. Yeah. That's what we can do. Excellent. Thank you.